Alright, so with Mega Swampert in the game, along with a Sceptile that doesn't have a Mega, <laughs> we can see Blaziken come in the future for sure. And when he does come in the game, he's most likely going to be a Spotlight, as May and Brendan are a Spotlight too. So it would be weird out of the Hoenn starters that one of them is a Poke Fair. So when Blaziken comes, he's most likely going to be a Spotlight, so that's going to be good for a lot of players, because then you can have a chance to get him on any banner that comes out in the future um, after Blaziken's first appearance, which is going to be good, because having Spotlights... Uh, I mean, it is getting more difficult to pull certain spotlights because there's just an abundance amount of uh, spotlights now. But um, if you're going for uh, Poke Fairs only and then you get lucky and get uh, 3 out of 5 for Poke Fair, then you can go and get your guaranteed copy of whichever uh, spotlight that you're looking for. So, for example, if Blaziken does come out in the future um, and then you get lucky on the, on the Poke Fair and get 3 out of 5 on that new Poke Fair, then you can pull a guaranteed copy of uh, Blaziken, which would be good. So spotlights in that way are very good, um, but when Blaziken comes, we can see him being a dual typing. Uh, so he is a fire and fighting type. So uh, he will have, or most likely will have, two typings because as uh, more synchros come out now, we're seeing more dual typing uh, synchros, which is good, um, and it helps them uh, stay more relevant uh, because then they're going to be able to go into more events and more battles as they're going to have more typing uh, for their moves, uh, which will help them, of course. Um, and then for the ability, he has Blaze, um, and most fighting types or fire type starters uh, have that kind of ability, but his hidden ability is Speed Boost. So then every turn that passes, he gets faster, and that's a good ability to have, especially for a, uh, uh, for a striker, um, because you want a striker to be fast so that they can dish out a lot of damage, because for the most part, strikers don't have good defense, so they're like a glass cannon in a way. Um, so having speed boost is very very good because then he can dish out the damage first and do a bunch of damage as well Him being a uh, pretty strong physical attacker too, especially when he becomes mega evolved um, And then when we look at his stats though when he's not mega evolved everything when he's maxed out with proper IVs and eves and everything uh, He's gonna have 372 physical attack, which is pretty good uh, And that's pretty mega so obviously when he gets mega evolved uh, he's gonna hit very very hard uh, but his defenses are lacking, so he is like a glass cannon, like I said. So having speed boost is going to help massively because then he can outspeed a lot of Pokemon and dish out a bunch of damage. Um, like even if you do 50% damage to the enemy and then you survive by two hit points, because of the speed boost, you could outspeed on the next turn and then finish them off. And then uh, with the speed boost again, after you knock them out, you could outspeed the next Pokemon that comes in and just do a bunch of damage. So speed boost is very good. Um, and then his special attack stat is 350, but he's a physical attacker, so you don't really have to worry about that unless you want to build Blaziken as a special attacker for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why you'd want to do that. Um, but uh, his special attack stat is 350 if you care about that. Um, and then when he Mega Evolves, um, why isn't it showing? There we go. Okay. So when he Mega Evolves, his special or physical attack stat jumps up to 460, which is very high. And then the special attack stat also jumps up, uh, but it's at 394, but it's still a respectable number, of course. And then the speed stat also increases. Not a lot, but it is uh, faster. And then with having the speed boost too, this guy is going to become a very fast Pokemon. But for his boost set, it is pretty good too. Um, but when he does come to Pokemon Masters, he's most likely going to have Blaze Kick as that is his signature move. Um, until like uh, these newer Pokemon games started giving other Pokemon uh, other people or other Pokemon's uh, signature move like Blaze Kick now is like a TM at this point so it is, it is still considered Blaziken's signature move but now other Pokemon can also learn it um, so when he does come to the game we're gonna expect him to have Blaze Kick and it is an 85 base power move um, and it's a 90 accuracy move so it does have a chance of missing but with supports on the team, you don't really have to worry about that because uh, a lot of supports now have accuracy up. And uh, with the Sync Grid, he's most likely going to have um, some accuracy buffs for Blaze Kick as well. So honestly, 90% accuracy isn't too bad because when we have supports and the grid and everything, uh, it's not going to be an issue at all. And then for a secondary move, there's options. Uh, so he could possibly have Brick Break, he can have Close Combat. Um, he could have low sweep, but for a fighting type move and uh, for Blaziken, like you'd probably want to have him, uh, or you'd probably want to give him a strong move set. Um, so like 
I don't know. Like, there's a bunch of possibilities, but Brick Break would be a pretty solid uh, fighting type move to have. It is only a 75 base power move, but if you look at the description of the move, Brick Break deals damage but removes the effects of Reflect and Light Scream before attacking. And uh, in Generation 3 and 4, Brick Break removes the Reflect and Light Scream barriers, even if the attack itself does not affect the opponent being a ghost. So, uh, yeah, Brick Break would be a pretty solid uh, move to have because we know in some events, like, uh, they do throw up uh, barriers and uh, uh, Reflect and everything. So, uh, Blaziken mitigating that would be very good because then it would help them uh, consistently do a good amount of damage with Brick Break uh, bypassing all of that and removing the effect, which would be good. Like, there is a bunch of possibilities that he could have, like, even Super Power and... Uh, Maybe Brave Bird 2, uh, Stone Edge if they want to give him three typings, um, but he's not a Master Fair or anything, so I doubt they're going to give him three typings for uh, offensive moves. Um, but I already created um, my uh, Sync Fair concept for Blaziken, um, but as always, I just wanted to like go through the stats and the moveset that uh, Blaziken could possibly have. Um, but who knows, maybe when he does come to the game, he's not going to have a Mega Evolution, just like Sceptile. When they gave Sceptile his grid expansion, we were all expecting that he was going to Mega Ball, but <laughs> that was not the case at all, sadly. Um, but who knows if they're ever going to give him Mega Evolution. I think they should, because especially if Blaziken comes to the game with a Mega, um, it would be weird to have uh, Sceptile not Mega Evolve. So, like, we'll have to see if Blaziken comes with a Mega Evolution then we can expect Sceptile at some point to get a Mega as well. Who knows? Maybe when Blaziken comes with a Mega, Sceptile will also get a, an update and a buff where he can also Mega too. But only time will tell. Hopefully that's the case because if Blaziken comes with a Mega and Sceptile still doesn't, I think players would be a little bit upset. But let's take a look at my character concept that I have for Blaziken and the trainer that I have with Blaziken I think is unique. I think it's uh, pretty fitting as uh, during the X and Y series, but let's take a look at it and talk about it. Alright, so for the same pair I have with uh, Blaziken, it's going to be Mayor, I think I say the name, uh, Mir, um, and Blaziken I have together. And for the typing, it's going to be Fire and Fighting uh, Striker, and the weakness is going to be Flying. And for the HP, they're going to have 748, Attack 405, Pre-Mega Evolution, um, Defense and Special Defense are both going to be um, 150, Special Attack 235, and then Speed is going to be 390. And Masters uh, generally doesn't keep anything uh, like accurately, uh, like not like 100% accurate, but like fairly close to being accurate. Um, but uh, 405 attack is a little bit higher than what uh, the main uh, the main series Blaziken has. Um, but uh, like I said, Masters typically doesn't stay accurate with uh, stat wise uh, for the Pokemon. So uh, who knows? Maybe this could be the possible attack stat for Blaziken or around the range pre-Mega Evolution. Um, but the speed, I think, is pretty solid uh, because, again, like if a striker has very low defense, uh, but they're uh, strong offensively, then you're probably going to want them to have a high speed stat so that they can outspeed and uh, do a lot of damage and um, get the move gauge to go uh, pretty fast. But for move one, I have Blaze Kick. And Blaze Kick does have a chance to burn the opponent. And uh, with the grid and everything, we can see something of uh, his grid where it would increase the chance of inflicting a burn, which would help Blaze Kick as well. Because when you do inflict a burn, physical damage gets reduced as well. So that would help Blaze Kick in terms of tanking as well. Uh, not like completely, um, but it would help a little bit. And Blaze Kick would be a two move gauge move, as it is not like inc like terribly strong. Um, but having it two move gauge, you can spam it, have an increased chance of uh, burning the opponent, and then do even more damage or take less damage too. So it's good. And then for move two, I have Super Power. And, like, if we have another fighting type with close combat, then that's going to be three in the game with uh, close combat. And that's going to get boring. Um, it, so I thought I'd change it up and put superpower on Blaziken. Yes, superpower does lower attack and physical defense, but I have other stuff built on his uh, kit where it would mitigate those uh, reductions. And uh, base power for superpower is 120 and then it's going to be a 4 move gauge move. But we don't really have to worry about move gauge with this guy. Because he's going to be pretty fast. And then for move 3 he's going to have dire hit plus. And uh, for move 4 I named it all fired up. 
and it sharply raises attack and speed and reduces sync move countdown by one. Um, and you have two uses, so in total with this trading move, um, the countdown for the sync move will get minus by four in total, which is good. So he's going to be a pretty self-sufficient Pokemon along with getting to the sync move and Mega fairly fast, just like Gardevoir and uh, Charizard and Red. So that's going to be good. And the for passive one, I have Impervious. So that's going to help with Blaziken's uh, superpower problem with uh, lowering the attack and defense. So Impervious will help, and then that's going to help in other events too with uh, the enemy Pokemon lowering stats. Blaziken won't have to worry about that at all. So he's going to constantly have his speed high, his attack high, his defense uh, where it's at. So it's going to be good, and it's going to help a lot. And with the Striker having Impervious, that's going to be massive. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I think that would be good for Blaziken. Maybe a little bit too overpowered, but like, come on. We're getting a bunch of Sankers that are insanely strong now with a bunch of uh, crazy abilities for them. So I don't know. I think this is good. <laughs> I think it's good. Uh, maybe a little bit overpowered, but uh, I think it would be a lot of fun because with superpower, lower in physical attack and uh, defense, it would help Blaziken tremendously. And for passive 2, I have Bulk Buster, so the more HP the enemy has, the more damage Blaziken is going to do. So he's going to get a total of 40% uh, more damage, uh, the more, it, like, when the enemy is at full HP, basically. And that's going to help with uh, cutting down HP, especially in Master Mode, but Blaziken would benefit from that big time. Because uh, you would want to try to lower their uh, HP as much as possible. And then when he Mega Evolves, uh, he's going to get Burn Synergy 4. And that's going to help with uh, Blaze Kick because Blaze Kick does have a chance of burning the target. So then when you do get uh, the burn off, you're going to get a 40% uh, damage increase after you Mega Evolve, which is going to be good. And it's going to replace Bulk Buster, but by the time that happens, the enemy is going to be like around half HP or something like that. So you're not really going to benefit from Bulk Buster. So because of that, uh, when you Mega Evolve, uh, Bulk Buster will be gone and then you're going to get Burn Synergy 4. So I think that would be like a nice replacement and a nice little trade-off as well. And then for passive 3, we have first aid 4. So like when he does take a lot of damage, you could heal up a little bit with first aid 4, which would be great. Um, and then when he mega evolves, his physical attack is going to jump up to 460. And his speed will jump up to 410. And that's the only thing that I'm going to have increased for Blaziken when he mega evolves. Uh, but who knows, maybe they might increase uh, his defenses a little bit uh, when he officially comes to the game, if he does, with the Mega Evolution. But uh, these, this is what I have for Blaziken. Um, I don't know if this is going to be like a realistic uh, build for Blaziken, because they can go any way with him. Uh, they can give him uh, Flare Blitz, which I really hope they don't, because we know Rayquaza moves absolutely suck in Pokemon Masters. So... I really hope they don't give him any recoil moves. Um, if anything, like Blaze Kick is probably going to be a staple for him when he does come. But for fighting type moves, it, it's hard to say what they're going to give for him because we could have uh, Brick Break, which would actually be very good. Um, they can give him close combat as well, like with uh, Lucario and Gallade, which I hope they don't. But if they do, I mean, I wouldn't be too upset about it. But. Uh, it would just get a little bit tedious because then we're going to have multiple fighting types with the same fighting type move. So it's like, okay, which one is the better one with uh, close combat because then you're just going to use them. Uh, but if there's variety, then at least you have uh, something to go for with each fighting type. Um, but uh, regardless, like Blaziken does have a very cool mega evolution. And uh, that would be another Mega uh, for the fighting type category. And I think almost all fighting types in uh, Pokemon Masters have a Mega. Besides like a Medicham, Machamp, and I think there's a couple other fighting types. But, oh yeah, Mighty Ina, not Mighty Ina. Um, uh, that, that fat sumo Pokemon, I, I forget his name, Hariyama, I think the name is. Um, yeah, there's a couple or few other fighting types in the game that, uh, that can't Mega Evolve, but for the most part, all main fighting types in the game do have a Mega, which is cool. Um, so when Blaziken come, uh, does come, I think his sync move will be a fire type, so then he'll be, uh, in the category of fire types, uh, but we'll have to see, um, because with his signature move being Blaze Kick, we can see something with Blaze Kick on his sync move, but... We'll see when he does come to the game, but this is my concept. Let me know what you guys think of it. Um, I think it would be a fun concept for sure. Or a fun sync pair, regardless on how they build it. 
Uh, but I would really like to see him come with superpower and then something on his kit to sort of mitigate it. Uh, the reduction of uh, physical and uh, defense. But we'll have to see. Um, regardless, he is going to be a very good striker when he does come to the game anyways. So it's just a matter of time on uh, when he does come and if he's going to come with the Mega. Uh, but uh, yeah, if he, when he does come, I hope he does get a Mega because like it is just so cool. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to be summoning for him, even if he has a spotlight. And if he has a spotlight and he's really good, um, then I would probably encourage a lot of people to summon because then he's going to probably be the best fighting type in the game. Because <laughs> um, as it stands right now, I would say uh, Wally and Gallade are uh, still one of the best fighting types in the game. Um, because I think their damage output is better than uh, uh, Mei and Lopani as well. Um, but uh, we'll have to see again in the future he could possibly come with a mega or he won't come with a mega at all like septile so we'll have to see let me know everything down in the comments below um that's gonna be it for this video and i'll see you guys tomorrow